Grandpa, I, I don't care. I'm going. Look, I'm already here. Talk to you later. <sighs> the old family manor. Westfall Manor. It's 2020 now. Well, 2021. 1831. So this place was built. The house still stands. A lot of llamas. Uncle John said that this place was haunted. I don't believe it. Grandpa would have told me. Hello? Uncle John? Anybody here? I'm guessing no one's home. <laughs> Diamond armor. It's nice. Better check my room. Wait, this isn't my room. Scary attic, I'm not going up there. Hmm. Huh. This will do nice. I like it. Nice tunic. Mm -hmm. Jacket. Nothing in here. Might as well go get me some food. There's no McDonald's or anything out here. Oh. Huh. There's no McDonald's or anything out here. But maybe you might have a steak or something. It's getting late. I should go to bed. What? I thought this was a, a closet. It's a weird basement. I'm hungry. If I can't find anything, I'll just go to bed. I might go hunting. Mm. That was bad. Well, I'll do something tomorrow. It's late. I just want to relax. What? Huh? Mm. <sighs> I got here so late last night. What? What is that? What is this? A bug and quill? History. This house was built in 1831 by a Scottish man who decided to leave everything behind and sail to New England territory in the United States. To seek fortune. And he searched for, and searched for the perfect land that had to be far from any civilization. And trust me, he did succeed with that. Beautiful trees all around, a lake and endless fields of snow in winter, and flowers in summer. This man managed to make some business over selling wood and became wealthy enough to build this house. Soon he moved in with his family, a wife, Two children and a dog. Well, this doesn't seem scary or anything. Not that it would, but it seems nice, you know? Maybe I would do a bonfire. I did, I do remember there was the fire outside, the fire pit. They lived happily together for 15 good years 
until something wrong happened. The man became scared of something that nobody could really understand because he refused to explain. He, scared, he was scared so much that he couldn't sleep at nights. As time went by, the children grew up and moved out, so he lived alone in this manner with his wife and an old dog. But on one cold night of 1855, he killed himself with his father's gun. This is my family's house. His wife was scared and ran downstairs to call somebody for help. The very next day, the police came, but they couldn't find the body. For one year, the house was standing on these fields after the man's death. But in 1857, his son Jake, what? decided to come live with his family. And this house dissolved the mystery of his father's death. Nothing seemed clear and he stopped searching for clues and started to live here enjoying his life with wife and children. But he began to hear screams at night in the woods. That's what he was calling his name. And that was the moment he decided to make a statement. The house was haunted. Of course, nobody believed Jake, but everything changed one night when he decided to go the voice in the woods and never came back. In 1881, Jake's son John met his wife in Germany and came to live in this house the same as his father died, did. They had three children and lived happily, but they never opened a door leading to the room his grandfather was killed in. The door to the attic, the house's attic. Um, okay, I was just in there. It's just superstition, it's not real. It's not real. They're just trying to scare you. The story ends here in 2021, the year you're visiting this house and John has passed on but you are here and you hear somebody walking along the rooms at night. What? During your stay, though they are searching for something and you hear voices in, under, and around the house. But again, the nature is beautiful in these lands, so enjoy your time. Wh who, writ who wrote this? What is this thing? I, I don't understand. I need to relax. Maybe I should just go outside. Whoever, maybe it was Uncle John that left the book. I didn't know that we had an ancestor that had his name. Hmm. Something feels wrong. What was that? No. That's, that's something's not right. Maybe it was just a story. Maybe that's what scared me. Is there anything in here? Besides the diamond armor? I just want to go to bed. I don't want to think about the story. I was just in that room and that's probably why I felt scared just then. Because I had the sudden realization of what I did. This was my sister's room. This is my room. This was the attic. I remember we would all used to go play. We used to have so much fun. This must have been my brother's room. Not Sam, but 
My other brother. I wonder where Sam's going right now. He is supposed to be in the military. That's outside. I should, I should just not really feel comfortable right now, but I feel safer inside for some reason. And this room with a down armor. I don't want to think about everything that happened in this house. It always just seems bad things happen here. It just, it scares me. I don't understand it. What? This full manor. That's where we are. <sighs> this thing. This totem. It it feels cursed. Something something's not right. I feel dizzy. This was supposed to be a family reunion. But I'm the only one that's here. Yeah. No, I feel so dizzy. Gotta make it inside. <laughs> How did I get in here? What? What happened? I was... I don't want to deal with this. I'm gonna keep the fire charges on me. What? Hello? Hello? But you said okay, that's that's not creepy at all. <laughs> Am I really about to do this? Well, it's just a story. It's not real. Nothing happened, right? It did say history, but I wonder who left me the note. to be left for me. More beds? Choreography? I just want to go warm up by the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> 